sorry, it's got it's run by electricity now. Oh, okay. So in 1968, uh, it was in Galway, and it was uh, decommissioned and we brought it here. Now in Galway, uh, the outside part of it would be run by water, and that mm -hmm. would make everything go. So when it came here, we were doing that with water, and we used to grind corn as well. And that went on for a good few years. Oh, yeah. But then the health and safety man. So that you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, right. okay. So the main structure here now is made from uh, cast iron. You see the black cogs on the top? Mm -hmm. They're made mm -hmm. from timber. So um, if any of them break or get damaged, I can just stop the machine, take out the broken one, and replace it with a new one. Oh, the teeth? The teeth, the black okay. teeth. Oh, okay. Now, the reason that they're black is we grease them once a week because they're meeting the two nuts, one is each side. Uh, now, the most important part of the whole machine when it's going is this one in here, and that one is called the stone nut. Now, that's going right up through the ceiling, uh -huh. and that's the one we'll be turning on the big grinding stones upstairs. Oh, okay. And the okay. corn then will come down the chute there. Right there. And, the box. and then you'd make whatever you wanted to make. Now, in the old days now, you wouldn't have had a box. You'd have had one of these sides. Oh, no, it just got to the side. As you can imagine, it was extremely disgusting. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that was one of a hundred reasons the Irish men drank over to give. <laughs> the second biggest reason that I had to do this was like, <laughs> and we can go up? Uh, yeah, but, uh, tell you about this thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this, this is a hammer. Now, this one would be used in the farm, so when the men would go walking in the field, mm -hmm. the lady of the house would put some paper all around here and the corn would go in here. Mm -hmm. Now you have two stones here, you see? Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when the, she'd be grinding the corn, all the corn would fall out in the stones. Oh, okay. and, mm -hmm. But sometimes with this little one, you see, when it's going, it's inclined to hit the bottom mm -hmm. every now and again, mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. around, you see? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get a particle of stone in the corn. Ah. So oh, okay. you gather it all up and sit it. Okay. Now this is a mesh sieve. Okay. Ever before the mesh sieve was invented or anything like it, you know, how they used to make things in the old days was they used to use horses' hair. Oh, the neck. very fine. Yeah. Put down the hair like this that way. Mm -hmm. Did they weave then, it? Uh, yes. The horses' hair. Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. just so they're interwoven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but they would string all the hairs down, and the ones going across, they'd weave them in and out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They never had any trouble with that, but mm -hmm. they had terrible trouble trying to catch the horse. <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch the horse. Now, these are mm -hmm. the plates that the Irish ladies used to use, and mm -hmm. they'd be carved from oak or beetroot. Okay. Now, they were quite easily washed, but the big of the Irish ladies had for these was, you could throw them at the husband and the wooden <laughs> break, and we have none for sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are really yeah. thick. <laughs> yeah. Wow, right. there he is. Uh, down oh, to wow. the years, you know, I used to always say, uh, you can throw them at the husband and the wooden break, and I'd stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't stop. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Different so, times. No, the, the floor knows the last thing I tell you is that uh, how this floor would come about. Hello, one end of you, one end. How the floor would come about is uh, if two people decided to get married, mm -hmm. they'd build a little cottage with a thatch roof and a door and a window. Now, the floor would have been a complete earth floor. Mm -hmm. So, after the church ceremony, they would all come back to the house and have something to eat and drink. And all their friends would bring a present of a flagstone. Uh -huh. That evening, oh. they'd, they'd have the floor down. Oh, wow. You know, now, this, the stone, this, that stone where we were standing on is the smooth stone. The smooth stone was called the dancing stone. Now, how that would come about was that in the old days, now they would have to have uh, no uh, big concerts and dance mm -hmm. and everything. But just go to each other's house and they'd all entertain themselves. Mm -hmm. 
there's the dancing stone that would be in front of the fireplace. So you see, and when they were putting it down there, they put that down, they put the used to put this down the floor, you see? Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when presenting a coach, you see, the stone would go down on top of that, but it would be this level of the mm -hmm. So as, as when they all gather in the house then, you see, for the bit of uh, music and singing and everything, I the anyone doing the other dancing thing with dancing back and you've got a fantastic song. Ah. Oh, okay, very nice. So where do you from where do you from? I never asked you. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I am from Lovely. Huh? Lovely. Oh yeah, happy and I've got a good slum way away. Yeah. But anyway. Yes, thank you for the thank explanation. You. Okay, you Lovely. Go up to the field, okay? But uh, are you enjoying this stuff around the yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> 